You know, when I was a kid, you could catch anything in the Brisbane River. You know, bet dysentery, bubonic plague. Always get a meal. Hey, um, can you get AIDS from drinking water? Oh, shut up. Flathead, brim. Uh, no, there's nothing like a big, to make juicy up my own piece mind. of brim with and Why didn't you do it? Mm -hmm. I did, I just did. No, no you traitor. Why did it take you so long? What made you change your mind? They want me to catch you. <laughs> So how did you find out? You know, just a friend of a friend. She was talking to someone high up in the party and at a function of some sort. We wouldn't be so worried if he was just a member, but he's been an official of the party. We'll try to keep you out of court. I got a lot of friends in the Young Nats. You know what they'd do if they found out? I don't know. They wipe me like a dirty rag. We're going to subpoena National Party headquarters for records. I can't make you do this. If you don't want to do this, we can just pack up and go home. No one else is going to help us. I want to see Doug Drummond. We don't need the special prosecutor to do this. No, I have to see him. I won't sign it until I've seen him. We know how difficult this is for you. You shouldn't be on it. It's not right, that's all there is to it. I don't know, everyone in the party is going to think I dobbed him in. It's the principle of the thing, though, isn't it? Well, we all agree on that. What will happen to Luke? From what you've told us, nothing. See, if we can convince the judge to dismiss him from the jury, he'll probably just get a slap on the wrists and sent home. Sir Joe. Sir Joe. Bob, what are you doing? Sir Joe, the uh, prosecutor's office contacted us. I see. And they want us to agree to a mistrial. They want to dismiss the jury. What for? They found out about Luke Shaw. What did they find out? He's a young national. What? They, they, they want to put me on trial again? Oh, that's what they're saying. So we thought we'd come and tell you and get your opinion about all this. No, that's their problem. I, d I don't want to dismiss them. Uh, your Honour, the Crown has two applications to make to Your Honour. Yes? One is an application uh, pursuant to Section 626 of the Criminal Code <coughs> that the jury be discharged without giving a verdict. Your Honour, in view of information that has only late today come to the notice of the Crown, the application is made on the basis of evidence available concerning the motives and strengths of the views held by the member of the jury towards the accused. I think I omitted to ask you, Mr. Russell, what is your position with the National Party of Australia, Queensland? Senior Vice President. 
Mr Cowdery, what is the relevance of these minutes? The relevant material in this bundle, Your Honour, is the mention of the person's name in the minutes and the appearance of his name in the register of branch officials. Do you want me to read all these minutes now? <laughs> no, Your Honour, not all the minutes, but if Your Honour goes to the fourth page, which is headed Young Nationals Branch Officials, Your Honour will see the name on that page. Not the one where Luke Shaw gave a talk on patriotism? No, Your Honour. And then somebody joined him in a duet, is that right? Singing Advance Australia Fair? <laughs> uh, it's the page before that, Your Honour. Where he's the secretary? Uh, yes, it provides corroboration of some material in the affidavit that was tendered last night. Most of Saturday was taken up arguing with Luke and Val over some questions they wanted to ask the judge. We simply weren't prepared to let Luke go into court and misrepresent us again. One question, right? To make it short. Look, if it's that important to you, you can read it, OK? It's just a question on evasion and false testimony. Yeah, well, we're not le Listen to me, mate. We're not leaving this room till we know what you've written down. Quit your whispering, too. You're like a, a couple of schoolgirls. Well, come on, let's see it. Come on. Jesus wept. It's a page long. Oh. Could the judge indicate if at the time Sir Joe gave evidence, the restriction on the use of Sung's no, our name, well, what the... We've been through that before. We have not dealt with it, OK? Because during Fitzgerald, nobody could use Sung's name, which means Sir Joe had no way of knowing who they but were talking press about. The order was to stop it the press publishing Sung's name. Joe it, could mate. talk about him till the friggin' cows he come home. He didn't know who he was. He named him in his statement. Of course he bloody knew who he was. If he didn't know who they were talking about, why didn't he ask? What is this scuttlebutt? There is not one skerrick of material emanating from the jury that would give rise to any feelings of disquiet that in some way the processes of law are not working properly. There's been no indication from the jury of any impropriety or pressure. And why should there be? We've known about Mr Luke Shaw's political preferences, just as we've known about other members of the jury. One of them's a trade union official, a union affiliated with the Labour Party. There's nothing unusual about the presence of a National Party member or a trade unionist on a jury. 